What's up? Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, and that of our children's. Um, I welcome back exclusively those who are the most ethical. Who are of love and light, reciprocating their very best, equally and always. What is the energy here? Hmm... You see the humpback whale right over here, right in the center, kind of doing like a backflip. Okay. I didn't notice that before, but I have received this card at some time. Several times. Rather than this being an assembly, since it's in reverse, it's um almost decomposing. Something is in like death mode. Or at least deconstructing. Mm hmm Okay. I don't know. I don't really know what that means right now. I'm at a confusing point in my life. Even with the job that I have now. I don't... I don't really know. Like, I know it's not... It's not the same as how it was before. So again, continuing to be sized up. What we'll cut that is, um, are these two cards, which is the journey has begun, um, because the ships, um, did the ships arrive? Is that what that means right here? They're coming in. They have arrived. Okay. Is it right? Yeah, it's in reversal. So it's already arrived. They've already poured it. Like, um, yeah. So, it's like teleported. Something. Time travelers. Deconstructing. Yeah, time travelers, not from the past, but from the future. I mean, you would kind of just assume that, but you never freaking know. Just because, you know, like this whole thing of teleporting. It's in reverse. So it's, it's for here. Yeah, because this is like almost unearthed right here. But it came in reverse. And it mimics the one that's like as above, so below. So my time travel. Yep, yeah, my time traveling buddies are here with me. Mm -hmm. They have access to the greater span of the story. So, it's crazy, okay. Yeah, okay. De decomposing, the, the way I got that was decomposing, so they have to like, it's kind of like going backwards in time. So that's, that's it's like a try, fold of um iterations here on uh, going back or like um scaling down or there's something about my time traveling buddies are here <laughs> okay i got some weird dreams last night and one from a familiar face but like he should not be in my dreams and i don't it's not even somebody that i really really got to know either um, and I don't remember the dreams. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, right foot, um, accentuated. This is about my truth. Okay, because it's solitary here. Um, I'm completely bare, except for my head. Like, it's masked almost by this larger parachute. Like, I'm supposed to blow up this big balloon so it's completely like covering my face and so it's kind of overwhelming consuming something something i'm supposed to learn some truth about myself right spirit i mean is that what i'm reading here i mean is that correct let's go to the answer deck let's see if last call okay 
Um, yeah. Uh, so all the people that are not supposed to be in my life, um, there's a good bulk of them. Almost all of them have been exited. Whatever, however that may be, it's like, this is the cue and this is the fruition of it. So even in the underground, okay, so the underground, that's what's happening with them too. So they did it surface level, but now they're doing it underground. It's the bottom of the deck. Yeah, time to go. Time to go. Mm-hmm. It's three o'clock here. Or it could be 1215, but I would definitely say three o'clock here. That's what it looks like. Interesting. Okay. So let's get the answer to X here. What else? I mean, what's going on right now? I mean, you're telling me all of this stuff, but like, what, what am I, I don't know what I'm supposed to really do. There's like so much to do, but at, at the same time, I just don't know what's going on like this dude from my last job keeps coming back into like the evening shifts basically sending me messages and it's like wh what am i supposed to do with all of this you know i don't i don't really So, what is this? Uh, the truth. Yeah, talking about the truth right here. Um, is there something to be revealed? Uh, I don't know. Something about, like, my identity. There's something about my identity. Like, people are so focused on the corporal part of, like, the physicality of of a person. Like, how much wealth they have. How, you know, what their background is. Like, et cetera, et cetera. Like, an intensive background check um to and they think that like it'll give them the bl bl blueprint to duplicate to somehow clone whatever it is that's due for me I, I don't even know what like but it there's something about a revealing of an identity that's so like utterly massive especially if this mask is like a huge balloon that's it's like larger than life so that's going to be revealed like even my identity to others um like I've, i feel like i've been hidden for so long that's not because like i don't know how to like work my marketing skills or you know that there's a lack of education and application from um, my skill set and studies to real life i mean there are some things that i could do but <laughs> Dude, when it comes down to simplifying the actions, the gestures of me applying to hundreds of jobs and, and not really landing a sense of permanence, you got to like understand that if I plug in that type of formula from my marketing like background studies to to um, real life applications um, for, you know, this um, alternative work, um, that it's it's still going to produce the same kind of outcome. So you know, why toil in, how do I say it? Um, that's what I'm called to compare against. Okay. So, um, yeah, like, I just know there's a battle. There's some kind of like a showdown. I think that's why, yeah, I've been kind of hidden. Like, I know I'm so good, so good that like, it won't even suffice for my peers to say, I don't even know if I should call them peers anymore because some people be acting like a fool, like trying to get in through like a network, through a network, through a network, just to find answers to like buddy up close to me because they can't do it directly because they fucked up that badly. So it's like, um, <sighs> dude, I, I know I'm really good. I mean, there are times where I, I have to question, like, dude, do I really, like, suck in this lifetime? Do I, do I, is that what that is? Like, I'm just not made for this era, and, like, everybody thinks that I just suck, not enough to, like, give accolades to, like, for real, like, show up. 
or does just everybody else suck or is it there's like this huge battle and um I'm just being hidden at the moment while I get better and better and better so I I'd like to believe that there's some rationale in all of it, and it's it's got to be like the ultimate ladder, which is, you know, what's been proving itself all along. I'm just getting better and better and better, and that can only prove to something that's working up to um, a role of something that's very fitting for its application. So, you know... Okay, what came of that? Justice and forgiveness. Oh, shit. There's a real battle, for sure. Justice is, like, here. Do you see that? You know, when I split my hair down the middle, I, I didn't really mean to do it right now, but it was doing that. This is my serious look. Um, I look like a different person with my hair split down the middle. And people say that I look um, not so kind. <laughs> Um, but anyway, oh, right behind forgiveness is hope. I think people are trying to pull on my heartstrings, but for sure, um, and people know that they've done me wrong. That's why they stay hidden. Even still wanting answers and doing it the same old, same old way. Um, anything else you want to say pertaining to justice? Like, how should I stand here? Is, is what I'm doing still okay? I know that there's some a little bit of, like, delay and stagnancy. I know that, like, like, for me to tell spirit that I'm doing my absolute best, like, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't sound right for me to say that to spirit because I know I could pull in more sacrifices and to do my very, very ultimate best. But when I speak in human to human terms, I can also, I can definitely say I'm doing my absolute best because I know the comparability, but, um, how it translates to spirituality, like the, the realm of like, <laughs> like I can't, I can't bullshit spirit. There's, there's, there's so much down here that I have to understand the translation, like the, um, conversion rate of data from here to spirit. So, you know, I know I'm like, okay. So Sierra, in your terms, how am I doing? Let's do a little progress report. Okay. Okay. So clarity and the stranger opened up to love. This is, this is so smart. Spirit is so freaking smart. So Clarity and Stranger um, opened up to love, okay? Um, there might be, like, somebody coming into my life, which is um, stranger, but, like, mysterious. Not stranger danger. This is stranger things. <laughs> yeah. Um, you see how it's facing, you know, Clarity. Oh, and we're talking about the ports. Holy smokes. <gasps> I'm about to meet my time-traveling buddy. At least one of them. No. That's so cool. If they can see me now. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm a big fan. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but love is... Oh my gosh. You know, I always thought... Like, the people, the regulars down here... I don't think I could really ever fall in love for real with anybody down here. I don't know, with what I'm doing right now, with how how far, like, deep I am in, I just feel like, and I think that's probably why I got so kind of enamored over the whole idea of um, being protected and being on the end of, like, a mafia crowd. And, um, you know, I still kind of, I still kind of vibe with that, but I know that the... <sighs> The person that I was supposed to be able to trust the most, that painted the picture likewise, um, was definitely not. <laughs> and and that's fine. It doesn't have to give a bad rap to, like, everybody else in the picture. But, um, uh, like, that essence of feeling, um, safe and understood and, um kind of one of an inner elite that not many will ever get the chance to be a part of and um, them understanding me on the level that I'm at um, and not being a facade not at least not to a hundred percent of the crew and me being able to see them in also a different light that's very unexpected 
So anyway, um, this particular one, the spirit is so freaking smart. Okay, so what my the the part of the story that I was trying to get at is that um, I always thought that um, maybe none of these like no one here is really you know suitable for me to vibe with that if I was really to have like a strong relationship it would be like of an extraterrestrial type of manner um if not then um it would be a time traveler so it would still be beyond right um from a different world dimension whatnot but I I think I, I just don't know if anybody cuts it down here. Like, it's like everybody wants to go fast. It's it's so weird. People have so many illusions down here that it's just, they want to fast forward and they want to bypass the whole friendship thing because, you know, there's certain insecurities that they have or, you know, it's just like, it's so weird. But anyway... <laughs> and my time traveling buddy might be my person. I mean, there's several, but you know, I think this one in particular is. But okay, if we're just talking on a microcosmic level, let's just like not get distracted here. Um, uh, this is uh, because like this, these are two clearly different personas here. Okay, <laughs> leading up to that part, but um, and these two are the ones that cut this to that. That's what's crazy, but um. Okay, back to microcosm, intimate microcosm. Um, remember we got Stranger yesterday, I think it was. It was using the O cards where um, the frame was Stranger, but then it was like the hourglass of the in-between. And so this is like us being on the in-between, finding clarity in like what the, in the fuller definition of love, okay? That's what's going on over here. And what that means as far as the expanse here. It's like, no, this this is like, no, for real. Like, I almost want to kind of step back and broaden it into like real terms of what people can understand here in, you know, still within some of their lies or illusions is that um, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with time traveling, but the more that I see this port and like the discussion leading up to that, like, holy smokes, for real. Um, and, and coming into fuller understanding of my identity, the truth, who I am. And part of like this time traveling person could also be facing um, some battles as well. Do you see? Without the coat, there must have been some kind of a showdown. Oh, shoot. Yeah, could have been. Okay. Looks like similar characters. All right. Anything else that you want to say, Spirit? We're going to go to the Healing Light Tarot, and then we're going to go to Bananagrams. But I'm just curious. Like, I know that there's a lot of work as far as migrating from this to YouTube, but, like, dude, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep pumping at it. Okay, so we got this bottom one ending, which landed towards the bottom, facing the full card and loss. Okay, the full card in reverse. Okay, and then what fell on the recipient side is confusion. Hmm. So, on top of there being a mystery, there's also confusion within the, like, dead end points of the... Because it's, like, darkness right there, right? Um, the dead ends of each, like, cul-de-sac area of the maze. So, um, I think there might be some confusion on what type of endings we have to like have I, I don't know why the full card in reverse it's it's also like a dead end i think this is as much as what can be provided here let me see middle loss again hmm i think this is meant to short track like to stop 
these BSers from further, like, trying to dig. This is meant for them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Top of the deck, brown haired man. Yeah. This is a different person. Yeah, this is a different person for sure. <laughs> That's crazy. This is meant to be a dead end. Oh, for real. See? Yeah, you see how it presents the full card presents the darkness. Here you go. That's where you're supposed to go. Okay. Okay, one just for me, spirit. Growth in reverse. So again, this is kind of like building roots. This is the backstory. <laughs> Back, sorry. Okay, one for just for me, so and I don't need to show anybody. No. Yeah, again, it's not just building roots, but also really getting to know them. Because if I'm supposed to uncover the truth about who I am, what I'm supposed to do, we're looking at the root system too. Like it's origination point. Okay. Give me a second. Um, all right, so let's put this right over here. And then now it is time for the healing light tarot and then um the banana grams. Okay. So, sir, where am I supposed to start with all of this? Am I supposed to keep my job, this particular one? Because I, I, I don't know. There, there are some really strange things happening with, with this stuff, too. And, like, dude, I don't What am I supposed to be doing? I don't... Like, every day, it, it feels more and more like a simulation. Um... When people like shoot their shots like by in shifts. The devil card pronounced what the f on the receipt like the recipient side. Even my heart feels like a little cramped. Okay, why did I get the devil card pronounced spirit? Hmm. These two. Seven of cups in reverse and eight of swords in reverse. There's something about being cornered, like spiritually cornered, but it's going to help me with finding clarity. I don't know how it's going to do that, but it's going to do that. And it's hitting the subconscious state, but it's like, it's so much that's happening within the subconscious, like, um, dream state that it's leaking over into, um, real life. So this is coming, it's like inception slash, um... What is it called? Um, this Netflix series with the moon god. I forget what it's called. It had Poe, um, you know, Star Wars Poe um, as a main character for this particular one. I, if, if I remember that correctly. Anyway. I think very much Egyptian. Yeah, within its likeness. But, okay, Spirit, so, like... Is that for, like, is that for, like, no interference, for real, like, let's get a clarifier, like, a, just kind of an a, umbrella idea of, like, why did I get the devil pronounced when talking about my current job, my current employer? Because it's weird, like, I've been submitted for, like, so many jobs, not just applying for myself, um, but this agency, like, even though I spoke well of them, um, and thought well of them, there was something weird about the close to the, to the last job that I left or that, you know, 
reached um ultimate indecision <laughs> formally speaking um there's something like it's is this uh, I'm only supposed to have like one job at a time or something like that so it, it's just weird like all of a sudden they're just hushed now it, it's almost like when i'm live here and i have that one continuous like familiar like how do i say it one continuous um repeat that's um sitting in on the reading um it, it it's like that and then i realize that they're really really bad and then um my crew has to spiritually fuck them over um which is all energy that's come back from their own doings and um never to go back to them and it becomes really easy so is that what's happening with my job stuff right now um, I mean, is it just a huge facade? Like, what's going on there? Because I feel like there's something not, there's something, like, because if, if I'm only supposed to get, like, one job at a time, and it's ousting out all other possibilities, then what am I doing with my life? Earning, like, taking a huge pay cut. Like, what, what is, is, is it just consuming my time? Is it just eating up my, like, I don't understand. What is, what is all of this? Um, am I supposed to just take risks? And if it's only one job at a time, then I'm just supposed to cancel out everybody else and save the blessings for myself and invest completely in what I'm doing. Like, I thought that's what I was doing. I thought, I thought that's what I was doing. But then with the extra time that I was just going to make a paycheck to pay some bills, like, I get me through the next phases like i don't understand what what is it that i'm supposed like uh, progress report spirit like <laughs> i don't mean to complain i'm just i don't understand like observing the patterns if i observe and carry over the patterns in the formula it means that i shouldn't be at this job I, I mean that it's a that it's a huge facade, especially with the devil card pronounced like tell me what is it, spirit? What's the deal with that? I know I asked a lot of questions, but I'm sure you could summarize and answer or give me a few to go on. Okay, no one fell behind me. Queen of Wands in reverse. Hanged man. Pronounced. And eight of pentacles pronounced. Okay. So for right now, I'm supposed to remain in an absolute objective point of view. So kind of unbiased. No judgment. Just observation mode. I do my job, but I stand like, I still stand kind of apart. Like, Mm, cuz there's still much to learn as far as my um my multi like multi billion um um abilities basically you see multitasking yeah there's there's a lot of gifts that i have that nobody can really take away this is just like kind of a playing field a simulation for me to um learn so it's not saying that it's absolutely good or absolutely bad. There's a mix of all this stuff in order to <clears throat> develop me. Okay. All right. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Hermit in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. So this is absolutely going through the dark night of the soul, but it's an awakening. It's not so bleak. It's not so dimly lit because the Hermit in reverse is coming out of the dark night of the soul, seeing at the, you know, the soul's purpose at the end of the tunnel, knowing that there is one. This is the Ace of Pentacles pocketed investment from spirit. So like this is fully funded by spirit. Um, but right now, High Priestess, like everybody's playing their part right now is what I'm told. High Priestess in reverse, of course, like people know that I'm a High Priestess. I, you know, I'm, I'm just adjusting to the fact that people are, knowing but pretending like they don't know and some knowing that i know that they know but we're pretending like we don't know <laughs> so um 
it's just kind of like noticing all of that. I mean, from in the high priestess in reverse. There's there's a lot of um, knowledge to take in right now. Um, yeah. So the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's like, um, for this particular one. With a hanged man, when it comes out with a hanged man accentuated, it's saying, like, um, the queen is, um, still has her wand and it's lit. But relative to these cards with the high priestess and the hermit in reverse, it's almost like, mm, I don't know, it's like a flickering light. Or trying to like light a match or something. There's something different about the lighting situations for both. Therefore, the variance in seeing things the way we see things. Or that I, I see things. Okay, two came through, page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Mm. So... Hmm. I think it's taking the time out to see what you want to do. But, like, what what does that mean? That's so, like, vague, spirit. I mean, okay, clarify your spirit. I mean, look at that. Three of Wands in reverse. The ships are here. Again, it revolves back to the ships are here. So, what? Like... What does that even mean? Page of Pentacles. It's like thinking about how you want to invest yourself and being gentle with the process of decisions. Because opportunities are here for me nine of cups in reverse like what makes you happy well if i really had to think about what makes me happy i like my divination stuff i like i really like what i'm doing so much so that i would forego taking any other jobs if that's the formula and just not submitting myself to any other jobs and like completely just you know not like even quitting the job that I have now, stepping out of that so that I can fulfill the formula of success within like financial freedom and success in what I'm currently doing, then I'll do that. But I don't know that, you know, because I've, I've come very close to that. I've, I've done it for a while and I just, I don't know. Like what? What are you telling me here, spirit? Wheel of Fortune, holy smokes. Okay. I I don't I don't really know what to say about this. So it's again releasing the burdens again. The agitation. And again the full card in reverse on the very top. <gasps> so something has to be revealed about myself. I, I don't know what. I don't know. Okay. So, Spirit, what do you want to tell me about the most prominent energy? Like, my... I'll ask about the separate persons separately, but, like, 
I refuse for anybody else to tap into that energy. Okay? It's a closed door. There's no open door policy on that one. Okay? I'm tired of people trying to fuck up my stuff. Okay? So let it be known. Okay. So... As far as the progress report, yeah, that's like... Okay, what are you trying to say as far as my progress report, Spirit? That I've brought in, like, good earnings. Okay, cool. That I have room to invest um, and be patient. Think about what, like, I want to do next with, especially with the high markings that I've received. That I, I'm doing well to continue the whole dark night of the soul. Well, at least, um, um, taking it on an underground level. Queen of Cups in reverse. So continue to fill your cup. Don't think about anybody else trying to, like, anybody else right now. Um, friendship or even um, romantically speaking. What do they say? Platonic? Okay, cool. Okay, last one. The Sun card in reverse. This is very much hidden energy. Three of swords in reverse. That's a good thing. Five of pentacles, probably. Yeah. I don't know what all of this means, but let's go ahead and, I mean, I'm excited to see justice is here. Like it's, it's rolling out. That's fantastic. Let's get something in here. I might put this in archive for a bit. <laughs> what is that one? X. So again, points to the destiny card. Then we have L, B, A, E, N, W, I, O L V E T G A T I D I V U I N F F P. <clears throat> I see Dylan, um, Poe. Tina, Dita, Winnie, Fiona, Alan, Gina, Galena, for the stone. Um, Gia. Ari. No, there's no, there's no R, never mind. Let's see, DUI. Hmm. Um, Ben, Fady, but with an IE. Gita or okay, Lonnie Laney Leia 
and Paul Bovi Bowie, like David Bowie. Lux. Evita. Walt. Walton. Exile um, Okay Evil um, So we have exile here Vow um, VoIP, Devil, Level. I have no. um Ida um. Gail. Puff. Elate Wind. I'm hearing she's like the wind. It's an old, old song. Mm. Plate.
I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Gaia. Blevin. Sony last name. Hmm. I guess I'll put page here. Okay. Page, point of view. Kind of refresh perspectives. Okay. Felt. Lift. Flint. Fate. So it's a spark of fate. That's what it's saying here. Anyway. <laughs> okay. One B, three I's, one T, one U, one V. Built. Yeah, something about building a spark, a flame. This is past tense. It's already happened. So I have V, I, and I. That would be seven, which is a chariot energy. Let me see if there's anything else here. I have these letters to possibly use but honestly I feel like it's supposed to be the chariot energy hmm yeah let me go ahead and show this one. That's what's happening there. So now that this reading is officially over, I thank my sponsors, my supporters, all donations provided in light and love are received and employed accordingly. And 
now that this reading is officially over, I thank all um, the respect um, provided um, in my work, my time, my space, my energy, and that of our children's, and then some. So upon closing all portals, I send all energies back with their appropriate karmas due, helping initiate that sequence of rollout in light and love. I close all portals now.